Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a new maybe series. I'm not really sure. Um, I kind of want to make a series about going through every art creature in Ark Survival Evolved. Um, it's a personal game that I've played for quite a long time now. I have over a thousand hours. I know quite a lot about the game, so I I thought it was a good good time to maybe make a series on this game. So what I'm gonna do for this series is. Go through each creature and arc, uh, give my opinion about them, what their uses are, and how you go about getting them. Uh, today we're going to start with A's, and we're going to go all the way down to Z. I don't think there is a creature in arc that starts with a Z. There might be, but I'm pretty sure there isn't, from my knowledge. Um, so today we're going to look at these magnificent creatures. These are uh, Akachinas or something? I don't, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. People just usually just call them the snail. Um, these guys usually are found in the swamp. We, by the way, we are on the map of Ragnarok, as you can see. The canyon over there, uh, right next to the scar. And you can see the obelisk. The, um, the swamp biome is over in that direction, past this mountain right over here. It's not that big on this map, but you will definitely find these guys over here. And these guys actually have a pretty good use if you are an aberration, to be honest. Um, these guys will create cementing paste or akachina paste which is just uh, another word for cementing paste uh, but just renamed uh, these guys passively produce them if they are set on wandering so let's go ahead and, and knock one out here real quick we're going to try these things out first we're using the pheromone darts first right here so we'll go ahead and shock one we'll knock out a level, really high level and we'll knock out a really low level so try to aim for the snail's skin, not the shell. It takes less torpor from the obviously the shell because its chitin is in the way, or chitin or keratin, however you want to pronounce it. And they're kind of bunching up together, so let's go for this guy right here. So that one's unconscious. Let's go for at level 25. I think we're gonna go down here, and we'll use the tranquilizing darts for this guy. So they're both knocked out. Um, these guys actually tame up with something called. Sweet vegetable cakes. Uh, you can make this. There's a recipe on the wiki. How you make this? It's mostly late game to mid game. Uh, I wouldn't suggest getting these guys unless you're considering like an alpha on a server, so you can start farming these guys. Uh, you can obviously run beaver dams to get more, but I suggest using this. So we'll put that in there. They'll okay, we'll eat that over time. We'll put it on this guy right here. And typically. What you want to go for with these guys is you want to keep in mind that lower levels eat less veggie cakes, obviously. Um, higher levels require a lot more. I think a 150 on official takes 34 veggie cakes. Um, so you definitely want to go for the lower levels. But you can also, if you're alpha and you have the resources for it, um, I definitely suggest going for the higher levels as well. Because the higher levels actually have more food stat, and we'll get to that in a little bit. These guys are making a lot of noise over here. Um, but the reason you want to tame maybe higher levels if you're an alpha tribe is because of their food stat. The food stats right here, this one has 1170. The one over here has 675. And the main reason you want to focus on that is because these snails, may, many people think they eat berries after they're done taming, but actually no, they continue eating veggie cakes, which is kind of annoying. So you might want to get low, uh, higher levels so you don't have to feed them as often. But if you get lower levels, I mean, it's a quicker tame in the long run. So you don't have to use as much veggie, veggie cakes to, you know, tame it. So once these guys are done tamed, you want to put them on wandering. After you put them on wandering, uh, their inventory will slowly fill up with Enchina, or however you want to pronounce these guys. Dinosaurs are really hard to pronounce. However you want to pronounce these guys, they will stack up with a hundred of Enchina paste. There you go, just tamed an aberrant one. I have aberrant and normal ones in here, just to give you a good priority in here. So go in here. For some reason, they're balled up for some reason, but you can pick them up, toss them around wherever. Throw them around. Kind of like the dodo where you can pick them up. But if you set them on wandering, they will slowly produce... Um, the paste for you. They also poop it out like this. Comes in little balls. 
but that isn't really worth it. I mean, you could put some up in a cage and use a whip to gather it all up, but it's much more reliable to put them on wandering so they slowly produce it over time. Um, I don't think there is any difference between the aberrant ones and the normal ones. The aberrant ones just have a little glow at night, and the normal ones don't have any glow at all. Uh, you're going to want to get these guys if you don't want to go on beaver dam runs. Uh, these guys are actually very, very good. I was alpha on a server once, and we honestly had about 20 of these going at once, and we never had to run beaver dams. We just had it in our base in cages, all lined together, and we'd get... Mm, Probably about 10,000 to 12,000 cementing paste uh, about every 8 hours if we had about 20 of them going. I forgot how many we had exactly. But they do accumulate over time quite quickly. So yeah, that's something to consider. Uh, I think I'll wrap up there. The next video will probably be... The next one on the list will probably be the Allosaurs, which uh, they're an interesting dinosaur. They're pretty cool. I like them. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!